So you guys have announced a lot of exciting stuff for season two, including Linda Carter as the president. Yes. What do you think about her arc, you know, in the second season? Of the um, I mean, I think first of all, our hope, uh, my personal hope, is that uh, it's a it's a good foretelling of things to come with her own presidency. But uh, she's, uh, you know, look, Linda Carter's amazing, and, and her role as Wonder Woman was for a long time the only female hero that. Genera a generation of people had to look to. And so we want to honor that even as we expand the idea of what a female superhero can be. But I, I think uh, there's going to be some very surprising turns. I think people are going to be really excited. We she has some fun stuff to do. So did you already know yeah. uh, what was in the spaceship when you wrote that? Did you have yes. all summer to think of that? No, no, no. We knew, we knew, and then uh, we had all summer to cast it. That was the, that's what we needed the time to do. But we did, and we're really excited. Um, and uh, the what's in the what's in the spaceship will also help us a lot in terms of Kara's journey in season two, and sort of her kind of coming to terms with can she have it all, and uh, you know her defining what she wants her life to be. And has it been cast yet, or are you yes, still yeah, okay? And you're, and you're just not talking about it. We're talking about it, but you know people can speculate. I'm sure they will. But yeah, it's, it's uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then um, we have Ian Gomez from Felicity is joining as sort of like a Lou Grant, uh, kind of like the Michael Keaton in Spotlight part. Um, it's gonna, it is going to be a lot of fun, and and some and we have some people switching jobs, which I think is going to be really great fun too. Does that take a little focus off of Cat Co? Yeah. Um, no, 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 because he's playing Snapper Car who works at Catco, so they're still Catco. Um, but I think, like, Wynn becomes more involved with the DEO, which means we get more scenes of David Harewood and Jeremy Jordan together, which is, to me, endlessly entertaining, as nobody annoys uh, Hank Henshaw more than Wynn shot. Uh, so that's just good fun. With bringing Superman into the show, uh, we know he's going to be in the early episodes. Um, is there going to be something set up where he can come back? Or yeah, I mean, we're not killing Superman. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, so, yeah. we like him alive. Uh, you never so, yeah. send him out into space where he'll never come back again or something. Well, he's Superman. He can still come back. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, like, look, part of it was we, in season one, we wanted to really just establish Kara. And, but a lot of what we do on these shows is, you know, comedy, action, drama, and family. And it's the family you're given, it's the family you choose. And Kara had to really choose a family and build a family here. But uh, Clark is the one part of her family that's still alive now that Laura Benati is playing Melania Trump. Um, and so uh, we... It's, it's a way to learn more about Kara. Tyler is amazing. And, um, you know, I've, I've seen him in the suit. And it's just like... When might we see that suit? Very soon. It's ah. very cool. It's very, very cool. And it's like, you see it and you're like, oh! Like, Greg Berlant and I went and saw, we went to a costume fitting the other day and we were both like... Like a little speechless. Was it Colleen Atwood? Hmm? Is it another Colleen Atwood design? No, it's uh, it's our costume designer who came up under Colleen. Okay. So, but it's based on it's working off of Colleen's design for the Supergirl suit. As fans, we see you know we get excited about all the build-up for DC right. right now. We have the Justice League building up for the movies, and now we have the CW movie. How excited are you guys about this transition to where all the other characters pretty much are surrounding each other right now? It's so much fun. I mean, we're like. It's like when you're a little kid and you'd have like a Superman toy and a G.I. Joe, they would play together, you know? And by all being on the same network in the same city, it makes it easier for us to do that. And because uh, there's just something great about, you know, when you would see like Cisco on air, like there's just endless permutations that are so much fun because we really love these characters and our hope is that the audience does too. Piggybacking on that, has it been difficult coordinating now that you guys are all in a shared universe before you kind of weren't? Um, well, we had Flash and Supergirl last year, and we still have to explain the sort of the universe changes, which we do. It's uh, like the thing that's, I think the thing that's hard about it is Melissa, Grant, Steven, they work so hard. They work every day. And so the hard part is when Steven is on Flash or Grant is on Supergirl, it means they're not on 
we don't shut down the other shows. And luckily we have a defense of really talented actors, but the writers just have to plan for that in such a big way. Because they're, I mean, the shows are named after the characters. And um, so that's the biggest logistical challenge. Your favorite show from season one, from favorite episode? Oh man, it's really hard. I mean, I'm really proud of the pilot, but I also really love the Black Mercy episode. I think that was probably my favorite. That was something that, that uh, Andrew had wanted to do from the very beginning, Christberg. Um, and I, I just, I love it. And I think it gives you a taste of how deep and complicated and interesting the show's going to be this year. A lot of people have been wondering about Cat right, Grant appearing in season yeah. two. I mean, how much will that see? You'll definitely see Cat Grant, but Cat Grant is, um, you know, she was very affected by her interactions with Supergirl last year. And also, Kara not being her assistant, you just, it's, it doesn't make as much, it, you wouldn't see her as much, you know, it's like, uh, it's that weird thing when you get promoted and you see your old boss less. Uh, so there's some of that. There's still Cat Grant. There is still Cat Grant. She is. She's not going anywhere. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys.